What's up guys, welcome to another Laravel video. So in this video, we'll look at powerful password validation component for Laravel. Password validation is one of the most important features for any application. And it's really amazing what Laravel has done in this regard. I will explain this whole validation with a practical example. And by the end of this video, I'm sure you will be able to validate password like a pro. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So first of all, I just want to show you this password component. So you can actually search it in the GitHub framework. I will also post this link in the description as well. So you can actually go through it if you want to read more about it and a little bit history about it. So I was just looking at the commit history and I just I found out like it was very recently actually committed by Nuno Maduro and Taylor Ortwell himself on April 23. So you might not have this in your project. So if you want to use it, you need to update run Composer update. I also had to run Composer update to get this password component for my project. Uh, so once you run the Composer event, you will get this uh, get this component. And and after that, so this is normally our application password. Uh, um, this is my validation password rule. So usually it's required, confirmed, and minimum it's eight. Uh, so this does, this is only mean like uh, the field is twice. Required means required, and minimum eight characters. So but this is not ideal for most of the cases of the application. So what we can do is like either we can need to write a bunch of rules like maybe it should contain letters. It should contain non white space character. It should also contain at least like maybe some numbers maybe we can say like zero to nine and then you need to write a lot a bunch of regex and if you are something like me and uh, you will end up something like this and believe me or not i still don't fully understand the regex and um, i don't know if you guys understand or not but if you prefer it you can actually go this way but Laravel provide on a really amazing way. So they introduced this password validation rule. I will just show you this in action. So first, let's actually check that uh, our password will, password is working fine. So if I go here and if I write my new password and I get, okay, the new password will really be required. So if I write like uh, my current password and then I'll write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And if I press submit, so my password get updated. So, so our password is working fine now. And, uh, but the problem is we need to add a comprehensive password validation rule, which is uh, required by all the modern applications. So you need to actually measure the password strength as well. And to ensure the password strength, you need to apply some policies in the password. So let's go ahead and let's see what this actually gives us. So you can use it by typing password. So uh, so make sure to use the eliminate validation rule password. So by this, first of all, you need to provide the minimum length. First, let's make it, for example, now maybe six. And then if you want this, don't if you want this to include letters and numbers both you can actually use letters so this will ensure that uh, your password should have letters and if you only want letters, this is fine but if you also want numbers you can actually go ahead and put the numbers here and now like this should work fine let's go ahead and test it and then let's move forward so our current password is one two three four five six seven eight nine so I will try to use uh, all characters here and let's see what it is. It does. Okay, the new password must contain at least one number. So now, now you know like this is working. So let's go ahead and try to and try to fix it. And okay, so I am able to use the both password. So the password I use is Rehan one. Uh, Rehan one, so it works because it is minimum six character. It has letter and head number, but you don't only want the letter and number because this is still a weak password. So you also want symbol, for example. So you can actually chain it again and just write symbols, and that's all you need to know. So now it will make sure that your password should have symbol. Let's try it again. Uh, Rehan one. Okay, so now it's saying the password must contain at least at least one symbol. And so yeah, so now you can see like how powerful this is. And one more thing I want to show you is like they also provide this uh, uncompromised method. Uh, you can use it. Uh, for example, let's actually try to see a compromised password. Like usually one, two, three, four, five, six is a compromised password. So let's try to use that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so the but the problem is this validation will start failing. Let's actually remove these guys, 
and only write like we don't want any un uh, compromised password so by compromised password in like they have been many data breaches in the past like uh, for multiple applications like linkedin yahoo and uh, whole bunch of these guys so all the data has been leaked and the password has been put online so yeah you also need to make sure that your user doesn't use compromised password the compromised password mean like uh, any at any moment someone will use this compromised password with their emails and they can breach your application security uh, so yeah, this is really a really good tool and i also try to use it in all of my application now so let's try again the hand one and so i'm using one two three four five six so it i'm i hope it is compromised let's see okay so the given new password has appeared in data leak please choose a different password so now you can understand like the power of laravel, laravel password validation rules uh so yeah i just wanted to show you these guys and just uh, a little bit going a little bit deeper so i just wanted to show you how it is checking the uncompromised password so if you go here uncompromised password you will reach here and if you go here laravel uh password validation and you can see like it is using uncompromised verify if you go here and you can check the implementation so if you come here you will see like it is using an api on password name so it is actually sending your hash prefix so it, what it essentially does is it create a hash prefix of your password so i just want to show you this for example one two three four five six so it will create a hash prefix of this and it will take first five characters and then i'll post these characters to here in this range and here then it will check all the hashes with these hashes it will try to compare this hash with the hash it uh, received from the api upon password and then i'll tell you okay if the hash matches then it will tell you okay so this password is already exists in the compromise in the data breach leak so you need to change your password uh, so yeah and uh, that's it so just one more thing that i want to show you sometime like i know uh you don't we don't want to use all of these rules especially for our uh, our dev environment so laravel also provide a way to actually fix that so let's actually copy these guys and i just want to show you and so for this actually you can go you can actually set up password default password rules for your application for local staging and all the environment uh, so to do that you will actually go to application service provider boot method and you can write password defaults and it will take a cloyer uh, and here it should return uh, it should return the rule object so here we can check if return uh, maybe we can just go simply this uh, maybe local if it's local in local environment so what password rule minimum six maybe so this is fine for the local but if it is not local so we need to return this object so what it does is now uh, we have created a default a password method so now uh, how it will help you is like you now you can actually use this in your registration form you can use in in change password form you can use it in update password form and to use this you can actually go here and simply call password default default okay and that's all you need to do so if you go here and you can see like it will actually call this callback and it will pro uh, it will uh, provide the rule here so uh, so you you will get all the default pa default password that you have mentioned here so you will get here and you can actually set these from based on your environment because most of the time uh, for local and staging you want your password to be very lenient but for broad uh, you want this we want to enforce this password policy for all the users so yeah that's all i wanted to show you and uh, i'm sure now you will be able to validate password like a pro and i'm sure it will help you a lot at the end i just want to say that i have worked with at least like four popular php frameworks and i mean extensively like uh, for many years uh, so number one i worked with symphony cake php g laravel and in laravel actually i, I started with laravel uh, at the end of laravel 4 and saw beginning of laravel 5 and until laravel 8 so, and um, i can just see like laravel is just beautiful and really on another level and the way Laravel team and community is just keep keep innovating and bring ease in building web application, it just blows the mind. So yeah, stay tuned, enjoy building web applications, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in another video. Till then, bye bye. Cheers.